Good morning, friends, and happy Tuesday. I am outside of Target this morning. I needed to run in here and grab a few things. Plus, I wanted to look at all of their fall and possibly Halloween decor that they may have out here. I don't know if they do or not. I have, it feels like I have not been to my Target in like forever. But I wanted to come over here because remember the other day when I was in Knoxville and I was at that Target and I saw all of that gluten free. Uh, food in the frozen section. I'm like, I want to go check out my target and see if we have the same stuff. I'm hoping that we do. Also, I want to pick up stuff for dinner tonight. I want to try to make beef stroganoff. Don't know if I can get it here like the beef but if i don't if i don't get it here i will stop off at Publix on my way home and get it so i thought maybe you guys would like to hang out with me in target for a little bit let's shop let's look around let's check out some of their fall decor let's check out maybe possibly some of their halloween stuff yeah let's go on in Alrighty, so this is the only gluten-free pasta noodles that i found that i could actually use in my be stroganoff tonight and this is what i usually use but let's see i don't think those are let's see nope wheat nope can't do those hmm interesting so now you know Alrighty, so Target didn't have a lot of fall decor, but they did have a lot of this um, in the area where the Threshold stuff is at or the Joanna Gaines line is at, Magnolia Home, I think. Um, this little gold squirrel <laughs> cracked me up. Um, anyway, these pillows were absolutely gorgeous. These pumpkins were so pretty. Um, I didn't get any of those because I already have enough pumpkins in the house, but I just thought they were so pretty. This thing was absolutely gorgeous, so I did snag that up, which you guys will see in my haul later on in this video. All of these candles, they were pretty much the same as they've had before. Nothing new, um, nothing any different, but they all just smell so darn good. These little vases, though, seemed pretty new, and I really like those, and I like the texture of them, but I didn't get those. But I did get the little hand towel that was next to it uh, and a rug, again, that you guys will see at the end of this video or towards the end of this video. But I just love this line. It is just so pretty. Um, I made my way over to the shoes, and I picked up a pair of shoes the other day when I was at Target in Knoxville, and I absolutely love them. And I was just trying to look for another pair and I saw a pair that I liked over here but they just did not have my size and that was quite a bummer because I really really liked them however scrolling through the shoes I actually found a pair of shoes that were on sale and they were only $8.99 so I did snag these little puppies up they're just regular slip-on shoes and they're super cute Alrighty, so they had zero fall or even any Halloween decorations out at Target. They still had some of their school supplies out, but I could tell that they were emptying the shelves and trying to transition out of school supplies into Halloween decor. Um, Joanna Gaines area and that hearth in hand only had a few fall things, uh, nothing like to write home about I guess um, I did pick up a little plant from there I will show you guys that once I get home and then um, I did run into Kohl's really quick too uh, because I just wanted to see what type of clothes that they may have in there for Brian I was actually trying to find him another pair of like really quick like uh, sneakers that you could just flip you know slide on kind of sorta and they just did not have his size in the color that I wanted for him uh, but I did end up getting like four graphic tees which I absolutely love those and I will show you guys those once I get home but right now I'm going to grab lunch and then head home I'll see you guys there Alrighty guys, so I am back from running around, going to Target basically. And then when I left Target, I said to myself, I forgot to go over to the frozen food section and see if they had any of that gluten-free stuff. That was like part of the main reason why I was going. Completely forgot to go over there and look. <laughs> oh well. Um, 
next time. It just gives me an excuse to go back to Target, um, which I think I might go back anyway, not today, but maybe by the end of the week because I bought one of these little plants. This is like their um, hearth and hand line. And I love this. This is, oh, I'm sorry. This is a threshold, uh, $20. And I just thought this was so pretty. I mean, it just says fall. I mean, how gorgeous is that plant? Do I know where I'm going to put it yet? Absolutely not. But I will definitely find a place for it. Um, I did pick up this, um, these golden, <laughs> golden, these gluten-free rutini. This is the only thing that I can find to make um, for my, uh, what am I making tonight? I don't even remember what I said I was going to make. Um, oh, um, 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 stroganoff. <laughs> Sorry, the beef stroganoff. I couldn't use any other or find any other pasta noodles that would work for that, but this will be fine. So we'll give that a try. And then I did get these shoes. These were $8.99. It says $20.99, but they were not. They were $8.99. Ooh, I'm going to actually check my receipt really quick and make sure that she did charge me $8.99. Hold, please. Okay, so yes, they were the $8.99, uh, which is great. So anyway, um, I did notice though when I just took them out of the box that they have been worn because um, they're dirty on the bottom. So I'm not exactly sure what that means. And I don't know what this means. Micro pack, I'm not exactly sure what that means. It just looks like it's like a sticker that says recycle or maybe it's like a sticker that kind of just was on there. I don't know. Anyway, nonetheless, for $8.99, I thought these would be great. I love just plain slip-on shoe. Um, I picked, this is hearth and hand. Um, so I picked up this hand towel because I'm going to put it in the main guest bathroom where you like by the front door and then I'm going to switch out the rug in there and put this one in there. This one is just so pretty and Brian doesn't like the striped one that's in there anyway. So I'm going to remove that one and put this one in there and then add that towel to it. I just think it just looks, you know, just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then this is the one of the... Um, t-shirts that I picked up while I was there. So the other night when I was with Hannah, we had dinner Friday night when we were in Knoxville. She was wearing this shirt and she said she got it at Target. So today I wanted to look for it. It's so funny because she does not know any songs from Aerosmith. So that made me laugh. <laughs> And, um, but anyway, I love Aerosmith and, um, I needed to find this t-shirt. So I did, I got it. I'm so excited about it along with all of these ones that I got at Kohl's today. So I got this one for Brian because he loves Star Wars. And I just thought this would be a perfect shirt for him to wear when we go to Hollywood studios in October. Um, this one is also for him. This is a NASA shirt. He does a lot of work for and with NASA. So I just thought this would be kind of a, a nice fun one for him to wear and then I got, um, these are from Kohl's by the way. And then I got this one for me because I am a rocker at heart. I love Motley Crue, Led Zeppelin, um, Poison, all of the like old school groupies. But anyway, I love this shirt. I've been looking for a Motley Crue shirt ever since that Motley Crue movie came out like last year. Found one at Kohl's, love it. And then um, I got this one as well. So this one is super fun, Friday the 13th. I just thought this one would be so fun to wear for like Halloween. Um, if it gets, you know, when it gets cold outside, just wear this with a cardigan. How fun and freaking cool is this one? So October is gonna be a lot of me wearing this shirt because I absolutely love it. So very, very excited about it. So uh, that is it for my shopping for today. I'm gonna throw these in the wash and get those washed up and then hang them up. I'm gonna put the rug in the bathroom and then find a place to put this beautiful, beautiful flower. I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet. I mean, it's just so pretty. Mm, I love it. Uh, we'll figure it out once I start getting more of my fall decorations and stuff out, which I think I'm gonna start doing like right now, but I think I'm gonna change clothes first and get on a little, get something on a little bit more comfy because if not, I'm gonna start sweating. I'm gonna have to pull my hair back, take my makeup off and just chillax at the house.
Alrighty, so I have started my dinner and I am just browning my beef chunks. And then after that is all browned and cooked up, I will add like my flour, which will be gluten free, plus my milk and then my pasta inside of here as well. And then I will just let that all cook together and simmer for about an hour and let the flavors infuse and then I should be good to go. So yeah, I'm excited about trying this. Obviously this is gluten free because I'm gonna be using gluten for gluten, gluten free flour. Try to say that fast. I'm actually just gonna use one of the gluten free one cup packets that I shared with you guys the other day. I'm not sure if this is gonna be enough or not. So if I have to add like a half, I will like another half a cup after this one, I will. But for now, I'm just gonna see if this will make it thick enough uh, for it to be like a stroganoff. And then again, I'm gonna be adding these noodles with it. All right, you guys, so there is my beef stroganoff. The noodles are cooked to perfection. The meat is to perfection. I added a little bit of like um, like heavy cream to it, heavy whipping cream, and then some milk as well as some water, just so it's not too thick, but it's actually kind of, you know, soupy as well. So it kind of like, it works. You know, you guys know what I'm saying. But anyway, it actually tastes really good and it smells really good too. Um, so I'm just gonna let it sit here and just kind of simmer for a little bit longer. And then um, dinner should be ready in a little bit. But yeah, I'm very happy about this. Now with that pout, with the flour pout, flour, pouch i only needed to use one and i actually um before i actually added it in there so it wouldn't clump up i actually put it in a mason jar and kind of made a roux with it and just shook it up really really good that way i could get it all like liquidy and then kind of pour it in slowly and then stir it with a um oh yeah one of those <laughs> i am like stupid hot right now it's like stupid hot this is what happens like menopause crazy hot and I'm like in the house but I'm also cooking and I'm also trying to upload the video for tomorrow so anyway so yeah that's uh that's it this I'm excited about eating that it's gonna be so darn good um but yeah yummy dinner is gonna be served here shortly Brian should be home shortly so Whew. I think tomorrow I'm just gonna work on the Halloween stuff so that's what I'm gonna be doing so uh, yeah, I already got a toad out upstairs and I've pulled a few pumpkins out upstairs while I was up there. So all I have to do is start pulling out more totes and then going through all of them and then designating places for them to go. All of my stuff. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know what you guys are looking forward to most this fall. Is it cold weather, cooler weather, bonfires, sweatshirts, um, you know, food? <laughs> I can't think of anything else. But just let me know what you guys are looking forward to this fall. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. About to leave. Already packed.